Now, some people say that those who wrote the Bible were prejudiced. That is, they padded the case because they wanted to believe in Jesus. They were sincere, but sincerely deceived and not open to the truth. Well, the evidence just doesn't support that conclusion at all. Dr. Geisler explains. Take a look at the last one. Were they non-prejudicial? Were these people biased uh, uh, in one direction so they weren't open to the truth? Not only were these people non-prejudicial who put together the New Testament, they were biased in the opposite direction. They didn't even want to believe in the resurrection. Jesus had been with them for three and a half years, teaching he was going to resurrect from the dead from beginning to end, John 2, Matthew 12, Matthew 17 and following. When the resurrection occurred, uh, they're walking down the road saying, uh, well, we'd wished he was the one that was going to be our Messiah. Uh, the women came back and reported that he was resurrected, and they didn't believe the report. Thomas, after he, others had seen Jesus, said, I'm not going to believe unless I can stick my finger in his hand, my hand in his side. They were biased against what they witnessed for. They were converted by the sheer weight of the evidence in favor of it. In fact, the only thing that really accounts for the fact that scared uh, skeptical, scattered disciples were transformed overnight into the world's greatest missionary society is they were so convinced by the evidence that it was true that they could not avoid the conclusion. Uh, look at the chart again. Uh, we have witnesses that do not contradict each other. We have a sufficient number of the witnesses. We have witnesses who are truthful, who are non-prejudicial, even by skeptic David Hume's criteria. We have a New Testament that is a reliable document because the manuscripts are reliable and the witnesses who put together those manuscripts are reliable as well.